Welcome to the Future Machine Defense YouTube channel. Hello, good people. This month saw the start of testing for the U.S. Marine Corps' enormous new aircraft. The F-35B Lightning II fighter jet, priced at $135 million a piece, is the priciest of its kind, rivaling the Harrier jump jet, which is an aircraft designed for vertical takeoff and landing. Together, Marines and sailors have been conducting Operational Test 1, which aims to evaluate the F-35B's integration with a U.S. Navy destroyer, LHD-1, since May 18th. In order to gather information for the upcoming F-35B deployment with U.S. Navy amphibious aircraft carriers, the participating aircraft and crew were put to the test during OT-1 with a range of flight and deck operations. Modifications that uh, have been uh, worked. Colliner Robert Rauenhorst, commander of Marine Operating Test and Evaluation Squadron 22, stated, we are conducting a direct representation of Marine Corps operational fleet forces during this period of operational testing. We are examining the F-35 program's progress as well as ship modifications implemented by Naval Sea Systems Command and the Joint F-35 Program Office. For both employees and the F-35B itself, the OT-1 provides numerous firsts. A pilot from the Marine Corps made one of the earliest nighttime aircraft carrier landings. The Navy's Director of Operational Test, Lieutenant Kohler Michael Denner, stated, This is the first time we've done this on a ship that has six aircraft instead of two, and the Marine Corps standard is to use about 150 Marines to work on the aircraft. Before anyone can deploy the F-35B as a warfighting platform, we are in a transitional phase. In addition to being the most adaptable and cutting-edge aircraft in the sky today, the F-35B will replace three outdated Marine Corps platforms. The F-A-18 Hornet, the EA-6B Prowler, and the AV-8B Harrier. Captain Colin Newbold, an F-35B pilot with Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 121, stated, I flew the Harrier initially. Flying this aircraft is considerably different from flying a Harrier. It is a very pilot-friendly jet, nonetheless, and a pleasure to fly. And I believe that will be really successful for us. The British engagement in OT-1 was another distinctive feature. Our Royal Navy and Royal Air Force personnel participated in Joint Strike Fighter training alongside participating Marine units prior to OT-1. Seeing the same version of the aircraft that they will use is a great opportunity for the UK, Gaynor stated. As they work on the Queen Elizabeth class carriers, this is a valuable insight. The aircraft's capacity to provide logistical assistance on board US Navy amphibious ships was evaluated in addition to its suitability for Marine Corps warfighting components and its operational testing. The aircraft's logistical footprint is just as important as its design and our lessons learned from this, Diener stated. When we want to deploy this aircraft with all the logistical support behind it, we want to observe how it functions in a constrained location, notably a ship. This stress test is excellent. It's a success to be here and take part in this, Newbold declared. We've come a long way in a short amount of time. Being able to participate in something like this is fantastic. F-35B pilots on board the USS Wasp had completed over 80 sorties from the aircraft by May 26. F-Corps gained in depth when the Marine Corps demonstrated for the first time that the MV-22 Osprey could successfully transfer the massive and intricate spare engine power module of the F-35B from land to sea. Chain of Supply 35B. It's a success to be here and take part in this, Newbold declared. We've come a long way in a short amount of time. Being able to participate in something like this is fantastic. Thank you for watching.